Hey, 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 hey. Welcome along to Love Audio's YouTube channel. My name is Paul Weber. It's great to have you along this evening, this afternoon. Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever in the world you're watching this from. Uh, do let me know in the comments, won't you, if you're new here, particularly if you're new here. And if you've been around for a while, then just make the newcomers feel extra special. Welcome. That's the idea. Uh, now, what is Love Audio all about? Well, it's, um, it's a safe, fun, friendly, and hopefully informative and entertaining platform for you to learn the basics in audio production. So, if you guys are on board with that, give us a big thumbs up and we'll get on with it, shall we? What a great idea. Get on with it, Paul. Come on, get on with it. Press the button. So, quite a few of you in already. Let's take a quick uh, roll call. And uh, say hello to a few people. Hang on, get my, get my microphone straight. There we go. It's better. Okay, how does that sound? Is that good? Um, all right, so I'm a little dark. Why am I dark? Let's get some, some light on that side. And possibly, well, I've got natural light coming in from that side. But we'll try that as well. How does that look? Any better? It's a bit dark at the background, isn't it? That's fine. Okay, we'll leave that off. Um, so, yeah, hi, let's have a look here. We've got quite a few in this evening already. Rich says, hi, I'm first. <laughs> yes, you are. Um, and, uh, yeah, Rich was on earlier on. In fact, Rich, I've got a little treat for you. Uh, Rich Vibes was on, uh, on his channel earlier on Mixcloud. There he is in action. That's literally from this evening's show. A little bit of a treat for him there, you see. He wasn't expecting that. He wasn't expecting that. <laughs> um, so look, we've also got, uh, Whip Prophet here. He's here for, here for an earful. Here for an earful. You try saying that a few times when you've had a few couple, uh, you know, uh, decaffeinated teas in the mug, by the way, uh, like that. And also sporting the T-shirt, which he has on. Uh, I love audio. What one of these, by the way, get yourself across to Teespring. I'll show you a little bit later on. Um, so also in the house is um, uh, Tom from HDMB. Hello, Tom. Thanks so much for joining. It was great to see you the other day. And also your brother, Ben. Um, yeah, really good to see both of you and hopefully, you know, when everything's settled down and stuff, you guys can come down and stay and have a couple of days here as well, which would be really good. Um, Whit Profit's on. Rich, uh, Whit says, uh, hey, Rich, what were you doing earlier today? Well, Rich was doing a stream because, uh, his Sunday night stream was, uh, strewn with tech issues. Let's just put it that way. I'm sure, um, I'm sure Rich won't mind me saying that, but, um, he managed to get everything sorted out. And um, did a great stream this evening from 6 till 8 and played some fantastic tunes. So, yeah, what well on my man. Good. Uh, just finished doing re-record sound. And, and, and there it is. The, the testimonial is just there. Look, just finished uh, doing what I was doing. The sound quality on Sunday was terrible. So he's corrected that and uh, done a new one. <laughs> um, didn't want to subject anyone to that. No, you know and what? And, and I had the same thing. So um, with that New Year's Eve stream on Mixcloud was awful. The sound quality was awful. So I was embarrassed to kind of put it up there. And, you know, because, you know, being so, a so-called audio professional, you'd expect to get it right, wouldn't you? But um, I just found it awful. So, uh, yeah, there's no way that was going live. No way. Um, Tom says, nice dancing, Dad. <laughs> you have no idea, son. Uh, even at the age of 55. If you can still do that at 55, then, yeah, you're, you're a better man than I am. Right. Um, Rich says, ooh, like that. I'm sure you're referring to my light box. I can't put the light box on because when I do, it just blows out all the, uh, uh, the words, so you can't really see it. Who else we got in? Uh, Ina's in from Denmark. Hello, sir. Hope you are well. I think we've pretty much covered everybody in the roll call that's in. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, good. Now, listen, tonight's um, episode, if you want to call it that, uh, tonight's live stream is, uh, and for those of you watching the, the recording, obviously, then this is a playback. But um, yeah, for this one, it's going to be um, unboxing of the Master Key, um, Master Key 61 from Acorn Instruments. If I just go to there, you'll see that um, on their website. This is the Acorn Instruments website. They're based in Leeds in the UK. And uh, they've come up with some superb MIDI controllers. If you don't have a MIDI controller, why? <laughs> why not? <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, if you're thinking of getting one, then I would seriously have a look at the Master Key, either 61 or there's a 49 key version, and they even do a smaller, like a compact version as well if you're, if you're kind of stuck for real estate on your desk or something. But certainly, I've got the 61 and uh, really love this one. It's just it's so versatile, and um, we're going to be unboxing it 
plugging it in, playing a few notes on it, just messing around. But I'll show you Studio One from PreSonus as we do that. Because what happens is when you, uh, when you take away anything that's normally plugged into it via USB, it comes up with um, like a warning um, to, to kind of prompt you to say, you know, do you want to re-plug your, your USB equipment in? Um, and so uh, you'll see that when I when I fire up a, an incident, uh, an instance rather of um, PreSonus Studio One 5 Pro, uh, then that's what you'll see on the screen. OK, if you have any questions as we're going along, please just fire them into the uh, into the comments and I'll do my best to answer them as we go through. But we're just going to get some synthesizers up and make some weird noises and stuff like that on the keyboard just to prove that it's plugged in and ready to go. OK, so currently it isn't. So as you can see, it's still in its box. Uh, so we're going to unplug that and get it uh, get it fired up and get it working. So yeah, hi to everybody. Um, so let's do it, shall we? Let's let's unplug it and hopefully I've left the USB cable in the box. <laughs> that would be daft, wouldn't it? If I didn't uh, didn't have the key the, uh, the the cable in the box itself. Uh, so here we go. So it's all well packaged. Um, just lift it out like that. You'll see that uh, it comes with kind of. Oh, there's the cable. Ta-da! There we go. See, I, I keep this stuff. And I said to you before, didn't I? Um, like last week's unboxing. Just make sure you keep all the wrapping and the boxes and stuff like that. Because if it comes to, um, you know, if it comes to reselling it, then it'll sell for far more if you've got it still in its original wrapper and you've still got the, you know, the end boxes to protect the, um, like egg boxes, aren't they, sort of thing. But they're, you know, kind of recycled cardboard. And that just helps to protect the corners and stuff when, you, when it's in transit. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to keep that over there, put it on the floor. <laughs> I'll tidy it up later. Don't worry. Okay, so this is it. This is the um, Acorn Master Key 61. 61 full-size keys. They're not weighted, um, you know, like a proper piano keyboard, if you will. But they're quite, you know, they're quite responsive. And also, when you plug it in, and when you're when you're using it professionally, um, the it's touch sensitive, so you could press down on the key to have a quiet note. You could press very lightly on the key to have a quiet note. You press harder on the key to get that loudness, and and they're very responsive in that response in that regard as well. They've also got a pitch bend wheel at the end here, uh, which is like that. In fact, we might even have my NDI camera set up. Hang on a second, that might be a little easier. Let's have a look. Um, if I cut to that, okay, so. Turn it around so you can see it. So this is the um, the pitch bend wheel just here on the end. Okay, so like that, like that kind of thing. And you've also got a another control wheel there. So that would control things like modulation. Um, maybe you've got a filter on it and that kind of thing. So you know that's that's where that comes it comes in. I've never used these four controllers at the top. I have absolutely, it's got C1, C2, C3, and C4, and I have no idea what they do. So, so if anybody does know what they do, please do type it in the comments, because I have no clue. Um, so, <laughs> we're going to plug it in. Let's plug it in. Where's that key? Oh, there, it's a cable. Right. So, it's a standard um, USB cable. And uh, I've also got a, um, a controller. Uh, like a foot controller as well, and um, and that's for you know extension, uh, and that's for um, sustain. It's a sustain pedal. Uh, Paul, do the noises again, like that. Stop it! You just wanted me to do it again and make a fool of myself, didn't you? I know what you're up to. Okay, it's fine. I can take it. Oh, charming. Just trying to make a fool of me on my own stream. That's just just shocking, isn't it? Okay, let's um, plug that in. Uh, Tom says you can assign them to anything you want. Well, that's good. You'll have to come down and show me how to do it then, because I have no clue. <laughs> uh, we might try it later on. But let me, let me plug this into the back of the PC. In fact, before I do that, let me just show you the instance of... Um, uh, let's, have a, let's go to here. And if I show you the instance of Presona Studio 1.5, I can close that now, can't I? So that's fine. You don't need to see that. That's the stream, so that's okay. Let's go down there. And I... I'm going to open it as an administrator, so I go and look for the software itself. That's Studio One. 
S S S S Studio One Five. Right click, more, and then run as an administrator. That way, I can make changes to anything if I need to. Um, and since the since the computer upgrade, it's it's the only way I can boot it up properly, and it, it enables me to record stuff. I don't know why, um, but yeah, just be aware of that. If you if you do a reboot and you you know have to do some updates and stuff, <clears throat> Windows has been really funny lately. Um, so here we go. This is the instance of um, of Studio One Professional. This is the version five Pro, and you'll notice any second now. It comes up with an error message, and it says, if you can't read that, it's quite small on the screen, I realize, but it says, your MIDI configuration has changed. This might be due to removable devices currently not plugged in. Do you want to reconnect your external devices now? Yes. Okay. So, please plug in your removable MIDI devices now and dismiss the message when finished. See, I'm just following instructions so you guys know what to do if you... Um, if you plug this in from scratch, this might, I mean, they're pretty much plug and play, to be perfectly honest with you, but that might be, you know, the way to do it properly like that. Um, Rich Vibe says, um, <laughs> can't be any worse than I did yesterday. Uh, he also says, Windows, tell me about it. <clears throat> um, let's have a look here. Uh, not sure to, how to assign MIDI controls in Studio One. It's very similar, whichever DAB you use, as far as I know, but I've never done it. Um, have a look here, so that's that. Yeah, unfortunately, the em em emojis don't come up on uh, on the messages as well as they should be. Right now, this is a, not a very long cable, so give me two seconds. I'm going to have to go ferreting around the back so I can plug it into the computer. Stay there, caller. Don't go away. In fact. There you go. Quick interlude. <laughs> All right. So let's go there. And that you can see that's still on the screen. And we click OK because I've plugged it in now. Click OK. And it should recognize the keyboard, which I've plugged in to. Go look here a second. Reconnect. Let's click reconnect. I've done that. Not working, is it? Although the light's on on the keyboard, so I don't know what it's playing at. Very strange. Don't ask me. Let's click OK and see what happens. See, MIDI port not found for device master key. MIDI engine requested, reset, blah de blah Hmm, I wonder. I might swap around the USB port at the back. Stay there a second. Let's try that instead. Whoa. Around here. Ah. Out of okay, it's now plugged in again to a different socket. So hopefully that'll work. Let's have a look. Um let's go to new song. And we'll click on songs, select folder, and we'll call this MIDI setup. MIDI setup. Today's date, 17.05.21. Okay, that's all fine. Stretch audio fast to song tempo. Now we'll leave that like it is, that's fine. Click OK, brilliant. Okay, so that comes up with a brand new thing. Now, what we need to do is to add some tracks. So let's add instrument track, instrument track, and we'll add a stereo track and a mono track, just in case we need anything to record on top of, all right? So on the first one, uh, obviously, when I play the keys, nothing happens because and you'll notice you, you can't really see that. Let me show you my desktop properly. Down at the bottom left-hand corner, of the screen, um, you'll see there's a thing called MIDI, and when I press the keys, that that um, left hand arrow lights up orange where my mouse is down at the bottom left hand side. Okay, so that indicates that it's connected and it's working. That's fine, but it won't play anything until we drag an instrument in there. So let's do that now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, 
I'm going to go to this, and so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to bring in an instrument. Okay, so we go to instruments, and you'll notice a whole string of stuff here that we can use. Okay, now, just for example, I'm going to bring in. Let's, let's try the mai tai for a, for a change. I'm going to bring in a bell sound for the mai tai synthesizer. Okay, so all I do is do that. Choose one of these. Bell Stereotic. That sounds quite good, doesn't it? Let's drag that, bung it onto that track there. Now, it plays nothing. <laughs> because, anybody know why? Interlude time to perfection, Paul, but you raced back to screen. I know, right? You can't learn it. It's a gift. I'm telling you, it's an absolute gift. So does anybody know why it's not playing anything when I press the keys? Okay, fair enough. Well, look, if I press the listen button, it's now playing. So let's go to, you can hear that, guys? No, you can't, not yet. Uh, D-A-W, that's why. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, that's my fault. That's really loud. Hang on. That's loud in my, in my ears, let alone what it sounds like to you guys. Can you hear that? So now, because, you've, um, because I've pressed the listen button on the track itself up here, the blue one, then you, whatever you play, that's that bell sound that we've chosen, all right? And the pitch bend wheel, you can see on the screen itself, uh, just down here where my mouse is, hang on, no, I, I lied, just down here with my, where my mouse is, all right? You can see the pitch bend wheel moving there. You see that? So look, if I play a key, and then... You can create some great sound effects. And you, hear, you know I mentioned about that kind of filter sound? Well, this is what the, the modulating wheel can do. Listen. See that? You can really manipulate the sound with that, depending on whatever it's controlling. And we've got some different effects down here. So you've got a chorus effect. Let's try flanger for a change. Listen, like a kind of space effect. Really nice. It's really harsh. Okay, so what we can do if we don't like that particular sound, you just use the drop down menu at the top and that gives you a ton of different things. So if you, let's say for instance, you wanted the glass arpeggiator, uh, then you can just click that and then. So that's generally those kind of plucky sounds are used for arpeggiators and, and, and arpeggio. That kind of thing, okay? So that's really, really good. Um, let's get rid of the bell sound. Let's go with heavy artillery. Tom, you'll like this. Um, call the cops. Okay. So this heavy artillery section. It's not me. It's not a fire alarm. There's 
just a ton of stuff on here. Um, well, that was called the cops, wasn't it? Let's go with uh, Bass Pulse 2. Here we go. <laughs> the sort of sounds that Tom makes in uh, drum and bass on his channel uh, with the, the, these kind of... There's a lot of harmonics going on there, not the actual note itself, but all the harmonics that you get with it. It's just a ton of those. Um, we've got all sorts of things in here. Gobble, wobble, mod wheel, it says, so let's try that. That kind of thing. So this is a heck of a synthesizer. Very, very powerful. So many different presets. And don't forget, you can you can modulate any of these different sounds to your own liking, okay? Let's uh, let's get out of the heavy artillery section and let's go with something just kind of strings. Let's try some strings here. Jean Michel strings. Could try that, couldn't we? What about downtown funk? <laughs> that sounds good. Let's try that. Okay, so this is uh, it's supposed to be strings now. And you see the modulation wheel there is, is controlling the brightness of the, of the notes that I'm playing. And this doesn't really sound like strings, to be fair. There's far better sounding strings on there than this. And also, they're coming, they're coming quite sharp. And a string normally, you know, a bowed string like that, for instance, will come in softer, much, much softer. Uh, so let's try Softly Clouds. Let's try that instead. That's nice. But it's very synth-based, isn't it? Matt's in the house. Uh, hey, I need to know this info. <laughs> Excellent. Good to see you along, Matt. I love your awesome wood things. I've been watching a couple of videos that you've done. And, and you and I really must talk about putting those acoustic tiles into practice. I could do with about the size. Of, I don't know how big they are. Probably about a foot across, Matt. Are they a bit bigger than that, perhaps? But I need maybe six on one wall uh, and maybe four on another. So I could definitely order ten from you. Uh, without any shadow of a doubt. It was such a great video to watch. I know I've seen it before, but it was great to revisit it and see you create that from scratch. It's just brilliant. Uh, if you've not already checked out Matt's uh, All Things YouTube channel, check out his Awesome Wood Things channel as well, which is pretty cool. He's got some great tutorials on there. Uh, Tom saying, nice. I'm assuming, Tom, you're relating to the, uh, the heavy artillery synth sounds that we were making just now. <laughs> but listen... Really rich, isn't it? I'm only making sound absorbing panels that look like movie posters. Oh no, no, but I like the one that I like the blue ones you did with the with the pink towel behind it, the, the, the rubbish old towel that you had curled up inside it. Damn it. I don't want movie posters. I want the nice blue. I love that blue that you got. That was really good. So if I choose the material, you can make it, right? <laughs> Send it over. Um See, even that would be nice in a DMB track. Yeah, so, you know, it, it, it's unlimited. And the good thing about tonight is that, you know, if, you, if you're thinking about getting a MIDI keyboard, get yourself one, but get the software to go with it. Because otherwise, your MIDI keyboard on its own is not going to be any good to you. You need the software to control with the MIDI keyboard. You know, the idea is that when you play... Hang on a second. Can you see that? Yeah, so when I play... It's going to come out of there, but it won't do so unless you have the software for it. You can play that for all you like and you wouldn't hear anything. So you need the software, 
you know, something it doesn't have to be Persona Studio One, which is what I use. It could be anything like Adobe Audition. It could be um, FL Studio. It could be GarageBand. It could be anything like that. Um, and then you can choose the different presets that it's got. But I happen to like this nice. It's kind of a warm pad, if you will. They're causing it. They're calling it strings, but it doesn't sound like strings to me. There's this, there's one here called Choral Strings. Just have a quick listen to that. See again the mod wheel. You see that moving down at the bottom of the screen, just here where my mouse is. Again, it's controlling the brightness, so that's quite dull. Enola Gay, yeah, yeah, you know the song. Uh, but yeah, yeah, if you listen, I'm just gradually changing the mod wheel. Awesome Wood Things says, um, <laughs> Rich says, OMD, oh my, OMG, OMD. <laughs> Very good. I like that. Um, but uh, yeah, Awesome Wood Things. Um, Matt says, my two MIDI keyboards are still on back order. I'm super bummed. I should get at least one of them this month. Yeah, well, you've been buying plenty anyway, Matt. So, you know, it's like a new toy with you every single month. <laughs> but it's good. It's good to watch. I, li I like the one where you did that, uh, that voice changing thing for about 40 bucks. Uh, that was quite interesting. Um, but yeah, keep buying. Keep showing us what you're doing, man. It's really good. And, and also, you could, you could you know, bring stuff in and um, do it on your, your piano channel, couldn't you, as you're, you're learning to play the piano. I mean, I can't read music, so you're doing a far better job than I can. Um, so, you know, you, I'm just kind of showing you different um, options. You've got Polyphonic here. You've got um, Blade Brass. That's going to be like Blade Runner, isn't it? I'd imagine the sound that's, that's on that particular movie. So... Yeah, yeah. And it's kind of got that stereo effect going on as well, so. Thank you. I thank you. <laughs> what else we got? C E. Oh yeah, C E. And uh, we did that one already, didn't we? So that's fine. Just trying to make sure I catch up on all the messages, guys. All oh, right, says Matt. Not sure what you're re referring to, which is cool. Um, blah, 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 blah. Make sure I've caught everybody up. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So yeah, so great kind of Blade Runner. Uh, you got laser. You got laser sweep. And that could be any. Could, could be an effect. Yeah, it's kind of going. To, whoosh, so you've got that envelope. Uh, you, you can see on the screen it's got different envelopes here. With the it's got the character, the filter, the two LFOs. You've got LFO is low frequency oscillator. If you're wondering what those stand for in the synth mode, LFO is a low frequency oscillator. And you can see that they're both on the sine wave. Um, uh, yeah, they're both on the sine wave uh, preset here. Now, what we could do is make them a square wave, and they'd sound completely different. Have a listen. Okay, so that's that. So what I'm going to do is go to the square wave on both of these. Come on. Let me do it. That's better. And on this one. Pretty cool. <laughs> Not a low-flying object, then. <clears throat> no. 
Doesn't sound very square wave to me. All right, what's going on with this? Let's have a look. Got a filter here. Ah, that's better. We're getting there now. That was oscillator one. Let's have both of those on. Come on. There you go. So now they're all on square. And this time, the, the, the modulation switch there is, is giving you a slower decay, so... Really long decay. So cool. Could play for hours and probably do. <laughs> um, so, you know, like I said, there's, there's absolutely tons of these. Those are polyphonic effects that you can have. Um, you've got pads, which are like warm sounds, you know, so you've, you've got a ton of pads to choose from here. So chill wave pad, for instance, sounds like pretty basic. But they're useful for creating atmospheric soundtracks to like movies and stuff like that. So really dark, for instance, you know. Does this software support MPE, MIDI Polyphonic Expression? Um, that's way above my pay grade. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I haven't got a clue, Matt, whatever it means. Most of the stuff I play is polyphonic anyway. I don't necessarily like the, 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 the monophonic, if you will, um, single notes, you know, that you can play at once. So most of it, this, most, most of the software that I use um, allows you to play polyphonic notes, if, if that's what you're driving at. I'm not entirely sure. Um, you can even play drums on this as well, believe it or not. Bass drum. Right, here we go. A great old kind of 70s, 80s. Um, it's a relatively new standard that includes per note pitch bend, pressure and timbre messages. Wow. Okay, well, you know more than I do then, Sunshine. Love that. Fantastic. Ah, <laughs> oh, love it. Dun, dun. What was that song by Kelly's? Sounds like that, doesn't it? Anyway, um, I'm messing around. What's this? HH drum box. Oh, that's going to be hi hats, isn't it? Got ants in your pants? Drop a thumbs up for Paul, please. Thanks, Matt. That's much appreciated. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's, that's just a load of noise, isn't it? What else we got? Um, Takio, whatever that is. Oh, okay. Can you guys hear that? Oh, wait, it's changed. What? Oh, let's go to the hi-hat. No wonder. Laser rattle. Okay. Wow. Okay, I like that. Hello, Mario. We're messing around with polyphonic 
digital synthesizer sounds after plugging in the MIDI keyboard. Sounds like something out of Doctor Who, right? Beginning of Doctor Who, the theme tune. I like that. <laughs> Rich Vibes says, Mario, my man. <laughs> uh, Adzo, Atlas, hello to you, sir. How you doing? Good to see so many people in tonight. Brilliant stuff. Thank you. Really, really pleased uh, that you're able to join us on the... <laughs> on the... Uh... Can you make it an old school synth sound like the beginning of Van Halen's jump? Oh, challenge accepted, my man. <laughs> oh, I can't play it though. Chord sounds. Here we go. Don't know what this does, but we'll try it. No, oh, that's rubbish. Um, let's not do that. <laughs> let's go with Polly. Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Melody activity. Let's have a listen. Nope. That's more of a pluck, isn't it? Das model. Obviously, that's going to be based on craft work. That's not quite, is it, you know? Fifth Avenue. Nope. I want something, you know, like, um, let me think, let me think. Blank house. Nope. Uh, let's have a look here. Fifth Element, Generation X, High Candy. No. I like the sound. It's nice, but it's not what we're looking for. Um... Offset pulse, possibly. No. Okay. Synthex poly. How's that, Matt? kind of thing <laughs> and, and I told you I can't read music I just have absolutely no clue but that's got to be the closest to it right uh, yeah yes that's it isn't it So close, it's so close. I'd have to if I could do it properly if I sat down for a while and, and you know recorded bits, and then I can mess around with it in the uh, in the MIDI. Now here's the other thing I wanted to show you. So whilst we're on that, we can we can do a bit of messing around here, guys. Right. So we'll close that down. Right. And we'll go to uh, we'll close the uh, the browser window as well. We don't need that on. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to record um, a bit of MIDI. Okay. Just for a giggle. So let's see if this works. That doesn't work. Why is that working? Okay, because I've got—I haven't, haven't armed the track, you fool. <laughs> Let's just make sure it's working. Okay. Just as an example, and we play it back. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> um. Yo, oh, Matt's got the notes here. Look, this is this is it's, it's uh, G A B G C E. Well, that's all right for you. But I don't know whether I know where I know where G is, which is. G, G. No, it's F. C. C E. 
Okay, that could work, couldn't it? So close. But anyway, you know you get the idea. So <laughs> oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. So the good thing is that you know if you use a multi-track thing like this, you can then you know put an instance of the same synthesizer if you wanted to, of course, on this uh, track as well. So you could go with. In fact, if I go to there. Uh, what if I can copy, copy instrument across? That would be so easy if I could do that. Um, let me go back to browse, and we're not on Bell. We're on something else, aren't we? What are we on? Um, Poly. In fact, let's just open it up. I'll find it when I. Uh, so it's called Synthex Poly, right? So I could drag that onto here. That's not going to work, is it? <laughs> No, okay. Um, right click. So close you could get a copyright strike. <laughs> um, that's not correct. Well, obviously it's not correct. I can't play, play music properly. Um, you were closer, he says. And Rich says, so close you could get a copyright strike. Yeah, probably. Uh, hopefully not. Uh, anyway, so what I'm going to do is just literally open up um, this. Let's just close that a second. Um, let's go to the instrument section. Um, the information. We go. And the instruments. Where are you? Lovely. Let's have a look here. Let's go to the mixer. My tie. Brilliant. So if I go there, oh, no, I'll close that. If I go there and I want to drag to track two. Yeah. A little drag. Oh, come on. Um, ba, 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 ba. Okay. Track two is not armed yet. Track one is there. Why is it not showing track two? For some reason. Look, you see, the good, the good thing is you can mess around with these notes. So if you weren't happy with that note, you can just... Put it somewhere else. Which is obviously clearly wrong. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, G B. Uh, awesome wood things. Uh, says G B E G C E F A C F A C G B E. Really? Okay. G that can't be right. No, that's not right. I don't know, whatever. Something like that. <laughs> Rich says flagar, as, Car as, as Callie would say, flagar. I have no idea what that means. F L A R G A R. I have no clue what that means. It's obviously an in joke, and I'm not privy to that. Um, awesome with things. Yay. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. Okay. So if I wanted to bring that in, for instance, I'd, I'd have to go and look for the, the thing that says Synthex Poly and just drag that into there as well. And Whilst that's playing, I'll take off record on the top one. I actually don't want to play that, but I'm going to record on track two. So let's bring that back a bit. And we'll start from scratch and then ready? Watch this. So you can record along with it, and then when you play it back, it'll play that track that I've just recorded. It's wrong, I know it's wrong, but you get the idea. 
and you'd have that on a loop so you could you could sample it and then duplicate it that kind of thing and then you bring the drums in which is a whole new episode which we'll get to at some other stage <laughs> but uh, yeah i hope you've enjoyed tonight's little play around um like i say we plugged in the um the acorn instruments uh keyboard which is uh, the keyboard that i use if i go there you'll see that again on screen or did i i got rid of it didn't i hang on a second uh let's go acorn where are we acorn acorn instruments master key there we go okay so that's that and there it is and you can see the keyboard there uh doesn't give you a price or does it uh, close-ups there we go so you know pitch blend modulation beta cap blah blah blah, blah real-time functions connectivity yeah assign controllers and edit See, this particular keyboard came with PreSonus Studio One Artist as a, as a free version of the software. How cool was that? So that's what led me, believe it or not, I bought the keyboard first, right? And that's what led me to using PreSonus Studio One. There you go. So now you know. And I upgraded from, from the studio, from the artist version to the, uh, to the pro version because it's just it's more better for a start. Um, Studio One Artist gives you main features. So if you buy one of these keyboards, I don't know if it's still part of the package, but it looks like it could be because it's on their website. Um, you, you automatically get a copy of FreeSonus Studio One Artist. How cool is that? Um, rich Vibes. Layering. Layering. <laughs> Laser. Layering. Uh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed so far yet, then please do so. Click that bell as well. That'll let you know when I'm going live next. It'll either be one of these kind of things on a Monday night at uh, 8 p.m. BST, uh, or it'll be an ironing stream. I've got a pile of ironing that's ready to be done, so that might be midweek. Um, but there's plenty going on this week, and um, I, can, I can now officially say that uh, I should be completing on the house 24th to 28th of May. Oh, I was going to play a fanfare and it wouldn't, it wouldn't let me. Blast! Uh, hang on, hang on, let's try this. Hang on, fanfare. That's a bit sinister, isn't it? Let's try that. Hang on. Yeah. Yay! Says, says Rich Vibes. We're just having a bit of fun tonight. We really are, aren't we? Let's face it. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed that. A uh, little play around with the uh, uh, with the synth poly, the synthex poly that we did in the. Uh... <laughs> close, it's so close. In fact, I could probably manipulate the keyboard, the uh, the notes, couldn't I? Hang on, let's move that back a bit. Now let's go back here. One up, isn't it? So close. I want. I know which one it is. How can I send you sound? It says solo music. Um. How can you send me sound? Uh, go to hello at loveaudio.co.uk and um, yeah, go to, go to loveaudio.co.uk. Let me know, or you know, drop me an email from there. So hello at loveaudio.co.uk and send me sound. Uh, yeah, what is it? What, what are you sending me? Uh, <laughs> what are you sending me, solo sound? Uh, solo music? Solari music? Uh, let me know, won't you, in the comments. It's not that note, is it? It's not that. It's it's. Da, da. So hang on. Oh, I love it, love it. Um, or rather, a Studio One file. I'm playing playing you the jump piece there. Oh, brilliant! 
Uh, well, drop me an email and maybe we'll get you on the stream because um, that would be amazing if we can do like in a couple of weeks' time or something like that when I've settled in properly here. Um, we can get you on and, you know, maybe you can do a bit live. How does that sound? That would be really cool. Would you give us a thumbs up in, in the audience, guys, if you want that to, be, to happen, if you want Solari Music to, uh, to come on and play some, um, some stuff. Obviously, bearing in mind, we can't play copyrighted music on YouTube because otherwise they'll tell us off. Um, in fact, I'll probably get a notification to say that that sounds too much like Jump by Van Halen, that you can't play it. So <laughs> just be aware of that whenever you're doing um, live streams. You know, unless you own the copyright, they're going to tell you that you can't do that or they'll take it away from you if you're a monetized station, that kind of thing, all right? So just bear that in mind, all right? Uh, so anyway, listen, we've had enough fun and games for this evening. <laughs> I was only going to do 40 minutes. Look at it. We're nearly at 9 o'clock already. Shock horror. I know, right? Uh, I'm going to save that for future reference so we can, we can have a giggle later on, can't we? So let's just save that uh, and then close out that, which is absolutely fine. Let's go back to that one. There we go. Brilliant. All right. My tea's gone cold, so I'm going to go and make a cup of tea. Before I do that, mm. as you know, I'll send you a Firebolt email then. Yeah, uh, do that, because I've got really fast broadband now, so uh, I don't care what you send me. <laughs> no, send it by WeTransfer, because uh, then I can download it. It's like a downloadable link. Um, what was I going to say? Um, you know I'm a complete and utter jingle geek, don't you? Yes, you do. Well, um, I will hopefully be buying a new jingle for the show. Uh, you'll be glad to know. So you're very used to hearing this one. Not that one. It's the wrong button, Paul. <laughs> you're very used to hearing this. All right, which is fine. Um, but I'm hoping to buy a different jingle. And uh, I wanted to play you the jingle package that it comes from, plus the jingle in the raw, you know, like professionally done. And then I've actually sung over it to give you an example of the lyrics that I'm trying to choose. For, and don't forget, it'll be sung professionally by them, not by me, right? So without further ado, it's the jingle of the week. <laughs> funny, Rich. Very, very funny. Okay, yeah, so um, let me play you this. This is a, a thing I put together. This is this will play the intro of the Jam Creative Productions jingle package called Uptown. Um, and it was done a few years back for a station called KVIL. KVIL finished in 2017, so the package must have been done quite a few years before that. I imagine probably about five years before that. Um, but the original lyrics feature their breakfast show presenter, Ken and Barb, I think they're called. Uh, I can't be right, Ken and Barb, can it? Maybe it is. Have a listen anyway and see what you think. Jam is heading uptown with this fresh collection of transitions, promos, and image enhancers. They're adult and contemporary because Jam cares what you sound like. So take it uptown with sounds like these. Rock 103.7 and here's what cut number six from that package sounds like. I'll give you a demonstration of the sort of lyrics that I'm hoping to bring into this particular jingle when I purchase it in the near future. Have a listen. Six. It's Ken and Bob. Start your day on Light Rock 103.7 Six. It's in the host of the show, Paul Weber, live on YouTube every Monday. Love audio. Jam is heading uptown with this fresh collection.
I was on mute, wasn't I? <laughs> but you heard you heard the jingle, didn't you? Which is fine. Um, so a quick question here. Quick question. Have you tried to reach Presonus to be like a brand ambassador to them? Don't know if that exists. You seem to know your Presonus products. Um, yeah, I use them, but I've not um, asked them about a, like an affiliate program or anything like that. Not yet, um, but it's a possibility. I did apply for a job with them, by the way, but I was not qualified enough. Because <laughs> um, they were looking for, you know, for people to join um, full time. And so, no, I didn't, uh, didn't get, it wasn't successful in that particular uh, application. However, uh, that's not to say that, you know, I, I don't endorse them. I, I, you know, I, I love their products and I use them, as you know, Presona Studio Live 32SC is the desk. Uh, that I use in here in the studio and the software is, is brilliant and I love it. So, you know, there's absolutely no reason why I can't yeah, recommend it to you guys. Cause it's just such a great, uh, great program. Um, don't tell me I'm still on mute. Hang on a second. I'm not still on mute. Am I? No sound. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Am I, I, I have got sound, right? Tell me if I've got sound, give me a thumbs up or something like that. Sammy says, Hey Paul, Sammy, you're a bit late. Where have you been? Can you hear me, guys, by the way? Can you actually hear me? Just say yes. Fine now. Good. Thank you for that. Okay, brilliant. Thanks, Rich. Uh, yeah, so I, I was muted while I was trying to play you the, the jingle thing. Um, but it's cool. So, you know, any, if you go to their website, jingles.com, you can pick any of the, of the, the, um, the, the demos that they do. Um, AC is Adult Contemporary. You've got Hot and, and CHR, which is Contemporary Hit Radio. Um, classic Hits and Oldies, Country, News Talk, Sport. Top 40 AC is adult contemporary again. Holiday, Spanish, all that kind of stuff. Holidays, Christmas, they call Christmas holiday, that kind of thing. So, yeah. Um, but I thought that, uh, that was a good, um, a good jingle to pick from. And, and the lyrics are, and I'll read them out to you, not sing them. Um, here's the host of the show, Paul Weber. Uh, and then it says, live on YouTube every Monday. Love audio. So that's the kind of gist of, <clears throat> of how the jingle will go. Uh, so that's that's in the pipeline. Um, probably by the summertime we'll get get that. <laughs> Plenty more to sort out before then. But um, yeah, stick around and you'll hear it on the show. How good is that? Uh, listen, guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Um, <laughs> Sammy was taking a walk. Normally it's a nap, Sammy. Um, oh, go on, make the noises again. No, I've turned it off now. Sorry, 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 sorry. I've turned it off. I really have. Sorry. Um, yeah, I've I've disconnected the. Uh, uh, the software. Sorry, mate. Um, but you can watch the replay. You can absolutely watch the replay. Uh, listen, guys, thanks so much for joining. Um, let's have a look here. Love audio. <laughs> yeah, Sammy's singing it as well. It's very nice outside, Paul. Um, it's pretty dark here. It's getting darker by the minute. It's absolutely hammered it down earlier. Thunderstorms, um, hailstones like this. Just shocking. I got absolutely soaked earlier on. Absolutely soaked. I don't mind telling you. Um, so it was not good to be delivering stuff in, um, but we got around it. Cheers, says Solari Music. Thank you very much indeed. I hope I'm pronouncing that, by the way, not Solar Music. Uh, Solari Music, is it? Let me know in the comments if I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, which would be pretty cool. And hope to see you on a future stream. That would be really good if you can collaborate and come on board. Um, then we can have you on as a, as a caller and uh, get you onto vMix and, and you know, do your stuff. Just don't play any copyrighted music, okay? Because you'll get me struck. So try and change a few notes. Uh, Rich says, lovely in Exeter. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, it's dry now, thank God. But it was, it was horrendous. And the sky looks really grey outside, uh, to be fair. So um, we'll see how that goes for the rest of the night. Um, just trying to catch up, make sure I've got all the comments caught up on. Hopefully I have. If I've missed you, I apologise. Um, if you've just joined us... Please watch the replay. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. And as I said to you before, don't forget to subscribe if you've not already early done so. And if you want the, um, the T-shirt or the mugs, get yourself across to spring.com as they've renamed themselves. And look for Love Audio's merch store. You'll find that there. And the T-shirts are there, uh, as well as the mugs in various shades. And I've got purple on and a dark blue T-shirt. But there's different shades, green, yellow, orange, all that kind of stuff. Hmm. Ugh, cold tea, nothing worse. And of course, the website you can visit if you want, loveaudio.co.uk. And uh, yeah, join me on there if you can. That button doesn't work, so I can't press that one, which is fine. <laughs> All that remains for me to do is to say thanks so much for watching. And I'll catch you next Monday night, if not before, for a good old ironing stream. Possibly. Partway through the week. Take care, guys. <laughs>